OMG, you guys, I'm crazy nervous. I'm over here doing a docu sign. Initialing like 50 pages of contract shenanigans. We are putting in an offer for a house. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. I'm glad to hear it was accepted. This is awesome. Red pepper's gonna yeah. go right there. There's a school like on that corner. It's gonna be our new house. I don't even know what to say. You guys, I can't believe this is our house. nerve-wracking. Just filling out this paperwork is making me nervous. Finish. OMG. Today is the day we move in... Our new house. To Chestnut. <laughs> to Chestnut. <laughs> to our new house. Here we go. Here we go. We signed the papers this morning. We can do the marital status affidavit. Still married to you, baby. 11? No, 14. Page 14. <laughs> It's a 20, 2022. Where have you been all year, baby? It's, moving, man. it's moving. been a long and grueling month and a half of getting everything organized and talking with a realtor and lenders and contractors and all the things. We will fill you in on all that story once we're in the house. But here we go, driving to our new house. And there's gonna be my makeup room and my bedroom and my new house. And it's purple like sky. Odin, how you feeling, bud? Very excited? You're losing your snack. Come here. Sit down. Sit down, bud. Good boy. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> okay, peeps. I just want to say how exciting this is because just a little brief background on this house. We actually haven't even been inside of it. Our realtor, he's a good friend of mine, Erin, did like a video tour with us when we were back in Mexico. We have about five minutes until we're there and you guys are gonna be experiencing seeing the house for the first time, just like us. So this is really exciting. It's um, pretty wild and scary that we bought this place kind of sight unseen, especially since it's our first home purchase. I don't know that this is going to be our forever home. I think that for right now this is going to be a really fun project and was a way for us to buy a good house close to like the Triangle area. Everybody's heard about how much chat has been going on about inflation so we all know prices have gone up and especially in Durham. So we got this house for a pretty good deal and we'll tell you more about that later. Let's just go see this house. Forgot to mention, we did like a really stealthy drive-by whenever we first got back from our bus trip from the West Coast. The uh, previous owners were still moving out on that day so we kind of like awkwardly waved at them and like said, hey, we didn't stop by and talk with them or anything because they seemed very preoccupied. And not sure really what's kosher if you like can get to know the buyers and the sellers in that way but anywho um, we originally were planning on swinging by the house to like scope out the backyard because from what we've seen online and what we saw when Erin was on the phone with us it looked like the bus could fit when we did our little stealthy drive by it looked like a tight squeeze so <laughs> We're at least going to bring the bus here to unload and get everything moved into the house and we'll kind of go from there if we decide to keep it in the backyard. We'd love to fix her up and um, have it as like a little guest space. So, Also, this is hilarious, we're two minutes away, literally always five minutes before any arrival <laughs> after like even a five hour drive. Zay stays awake until the very last moment so clearly she's super excited. I can't believe this is our house. Wow, we're gonna give you a full-on tour of this place when we finally get settled. Let's go see your bedroom, Zay. There's a bunch of stuff in this bag that they might not look good. Are you serious? Wow. 
Wow, they left a knife thing, babe. What were we just talking about needing knives? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. I'm coming. Go. Go, Zay. Right here. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. This place needs a good old clean. Let's see what's over here. Oh, I think this is mom and pops' bedroom. Oh, friggin' dog bed. <laughs> we just bought one for Odin, that's funny. Ooh. Let's see. <gasps> this is the one that was your bedroom. It's here. Remember I told you it was gonna be with, without all the stuff? Why? Because we're gonna get your own special stuff. Where's my bed? We're gonna get the one from Red Pepper and put it in here. And make a princess bed. I think this, let's see. Oh, this is a good room too. I like the color. We have toys and Happy Mardi Gras. Ooh. Oh, look, they got diapers in here and a balloon. Welcome, Hi. baby. Technically. Look how huge this closet is. I know, I didn't open that. What goes, oh, what goes in there? Look how much space there is in here. Huh? Space. Storage. Let's go inside there. Yeah. Look at how much space there is to store stuff. Straight to the outside world in there. Pop, where are you going? It's the danger zone down there. Ah. Oh! <laughs> no way! Wow, paint and everything. Here, stand. Oh, didn't stay there, bud. Come, come right here. Come, come here. You wanna come, huh? Wow, look at this door. Oh, this is the front door. Oh, what do you think, Zay? The spooky basement. <laughs> it's chilly down here, hey? Sweet ride. We'll have to get it to work. If you want, we can get your bicycle and you can ride it outside here. I think Mama needs to go and get stuff to clean this place <laughs> and do a big old deep clean before we move in. Oh my god, this is so cool. Look at this key rack. That's awesome. Epic home space. Why did we just find behind the bridge? Is there apple in there? No. It's hilarious. I feel like this is a house full of treasures. <laughs> so I think before I bring any of the stuff in, Pops is over here watching TV. I <laughs> think the TV works. This is amazing. I probably have this TV game in the house. I'm gonna get some gear and clean this thing out, get all the crap out that we don't want so it's in a pile so that we start from a clean slate. Obviously we won't be getting rid of the mobile over here, but uh, we just scooch this thing over. I can't believe we have window sills everywhere. It's freaking amazing. This is wild. I can't believe we did this. Well, there's a key that broke in the lock. And so now this is a thing. I know, we were about to head out <laughs> to go run a couple errands. Well, what a day. We went to the Lowe's, which is like right down the road to get some cleaning supplies so we'll clean our bedrooms and sleep the night here. And um, there's conveniently an Aldi's right next door with $5 Prosecco. So, we're gonna celebrate. I know. And Erin, thank you. She's our real estate agent and also a good friend of mine. And she gifted us this beautiful mug. Oh! <laughs> do it, do it. Odin, oh buddy, give me a hair, poor guy. Poor oh, guy, he's been a bit nervous all day today. We've been changing homes and moving a bunch. And of course, and then oh. it of course. Celebrate good times. This is the other one. So I guess I'll have the uh, snaky one since Justin's afraid of snakes. <laughs> First, bed in this house. Not good at snakes. Um, they're just a little creepy, but I'm, I'm into it. Mama, let's clean it up. We need an action plan. We yeah. need the squirter from the red pepper. And we need the speaker to have some grooves. Tap Tripod and clean and so we can take it. you guys along. This is very exciting. Time to clean, Zay. You ready? Yeah. Thing over here? We have officially become 
become people who own dusters. They definitely did not clean this place before they left. Phase one, clean the windowsills. Phase two, give Odin a ball so he can stop attacking us. Phase three is sweep the floor. You wanna do it? And then we're gonna spray it. Mama's gonna make a spray mixture. Odin needs his bed up in the bedroom. Do you wanna get it? So my mom was talking about one of those like robot hoovers. <laughs> Actually it was my sister who asked me if I wanted that for a housewarming present. I don't know how I feel about a robot hoover, although the size of this house to be hoovering all day would be outrageous. So it might come in handy. What do you guys think yes, about yeah, robot hoovers? Yeah. <laughs> Meet on you, rejuvenate. Mop, I guess? It's like reusable pads instead of like a Swiffer, which is like you throw it away, so that would be more sustainable. I guess we're mop people now too. I'm gonna stick with my old trusty uh, spray gun over here instead of the sprayer. Those things are expensive, like $40 for one that is like a sprayer on here, so I figured let's just do the thing. New vibes, coming in strong. These guys had a mastiff, like a dog, part dogs. So there's dog hair everywhere. Clean, huh? Uh-huh. I have to show you how cute is. He's sleeping on all our stuff that we like piled up. He so has our hole and he's a little troublemaker with his nibbling, but gotta love him. I think it would be cool to like see if you look out the windows and then you could have your little circus area underneath all the spotlights, but you decide. What do you want? room smells good feels good for now it's a mattress do you like your bedroom so far yeah I love it it's gonna be good when we're done working on it and painting rainbows and all that stuff what on earth is Justin doing Mama. he's our transporter Mama, come here. he's taking stuff from red pepper into the house you chose a great dog for her to have her <gasps> that's mama's birthday card <laughs> I'm gonna put your lady plant up here this is where we'll be watching sunsets. <laughs> to Popsy's Kitchen. <laughs> See what I cook frozen pizza? Uh, it's not frozen, it's refrigerated. refrigerated Made pizza. fresh. Ooh, pizza. Meanwhile, beautiful view of our neighborhood. So I guess these guys left a lot of stuff. And when we pulled in... Happy Mardi Gras! Oh yeah, they left Mardi Gras beads and like little chapeau. When we pulled in, there was stuff in the uh, trash bags. So we're gonna go dumpster dive in our own dumpster. <laughs> 
I want to give a big shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking to create your own website or online platform, Squarespace could be a really great place to start. They've got a huge selection of all kinds of different templates that could fit any kind of need from blogs to e-commerce to portfolios. It's really easy to customize and reorganize the pages to fit each need that you might have and it always looks incredibly professional. Squarespace can be a really great place to make any idea a reality when it comes to presenting yourself to the online world. If you guys are interested in creating your own website, feel free to check out the link down below to get 10% off your website or domain and get yourself out into the online world because you never know what could come of having an online website. Welcome back to a new day. And welcome to a new house! <laughs> And to today's bedroom. Today has been a very busy day already. We woke up at 5.30 and we had to drive parts to Chapel Hill, buying a work van for one of his um, employees for beekeeping. So we drove him to Chapel Hill, they're driving together, they're going to Fayetteville, and then he has to drive all the way to South Carolina to go get queens for beekeeping. He just got a batch of bees coming in and I guess it means that he needs to put new queens in there so they can all be accepted prior to taking the hives to the new location. I put Papa Crow on you! <laughs> so Papa's very busy today, so we drove in there and we drove back here. Last night we got a late call saying that there was some paperwork that wasn't quite signed, so we had to also drive back, whoa, to Raleigh to go sign more paperwork. Um, and technically we didn't own the house even though we moved into the house. So we made a $1 rent agreement for one night and Pops will be signing that paperwork today. So what are we doing, Zay? Cleaning. Cleaning and tidying. So, so far I've cleaned just the two bedrooms and like the room downstairs with the books on it. Ooh, I'm gonna try and clean the bathroom up here and one last room that's gonna be my studio room and then the stairs and then see how much of the kitchen we can get clean because the fridge is disgusting. I in our new house! In our new house! <laughs> Welcome to what will soon be a filming studio, creative space, my jewelry making room, sewing, crochet, oh my god, you name it, I'm so excited that this is the space that I'll be creating. I even like the color of this room, it needs like touch ups because the paint job is very poorly done, but um, I really look forward to making this space like something really epic. Stay tuned. Okay, this is what I call an ideal like bathroom. I cannot wait to retile this place. Kind of paint the uh, the base of this crow fit tub. Like down here, I think that would be really beautiful. I found this piece of wood. I couldn't even believe someone was just throwing it away. Actually, they were just leaving it in a cupboard and it fits perfect. So vibes are going and I'm excited to make maybe like a macrame curtain. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but something macrame and picture frames. Well, I bet you have missed the bus. <laughs> the bus is starting to look empty. It's pretty wild. We forgot the Ikea bags, eh? Trying to load everything out and I think we're gonna take an ice cream break. go to our new house. It sure is. It's also gonna be the plant making, like pre repotting station and dog food and, like, and we, cleaning supplies. We already have a dog bed. And we already, yeah, they did have a, a dog bed. It was really gross though. So there's even a dishwasher in here, but I think we're gonna sell it or I'm gonna try and get rid of it somehow. Also was thinking about like, stenciling on this floor so it looked like this really beautiful tile. It's really awesome concrete so I don't think that it needs to be like covered or replaced. I think it could have a really and cool And we don't need this. Texture. 
everything is in total chaos. Pops is uh, gonna be in charge of going through the basement and the creep zone. Look how non all this is. So gross. Really need to clean it out, but it's a dope fridge. Isn't that disgusting? So I'm gonna try and get this place clean, but we'll see how that goes. The kitchen is um, it's killing me. I gotta get this thing clean. I am exhausted. It's been a long day. Zelia fell asleep. We were watching Frozen. It's been her new obsession and she's been like running around singing like, let it go, let it go. It's really cute. So yeah, I'm, I guess, just gonna work on cleaning this place up because I really wanna bring the food in for tonight and just cook here in the house and chill, knock the bus up and not be like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. The type of loan that Justin worked on putting together for us was a renovation loan. There's two, a couple different kinds, a Sally May and another one. He is the contract reading guru and really enjoys like paperwork kind of stuff. Hey, this is Justin Manus, um, Janelle. I uh, wanted to speak with you guys about a renovation project I have um, in Henderson, North Carolina. We are using a renovation loan. Just wanted to reach out to you guys. Okay, so I'll, I'll go that route. I, hey, yeah, Justin here. I'll also have to check with Erin to see if she's available tomorrow at 12 for the appraiser to come out. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, this is Justin Manus. The draw schedule as well as the um, initial draw for the projects. That's his forte, it's definitely not my forte. I'm also a really slow reader. And so all these contracts to purchase this house were incredibly long. So he was the first eyes on them and then I got to kind of skim through. But the loan that we got allows us to add a reno budget into the mortgage and that basically allows us to do bigger projects like this kitchen. So we're gonna basically rip this whole wall down which connects to, I guess, the dining room and kind of open up this kitchen space, expand it, put tile on the floor, all new cabinetries. I don't know that we'll need a new fridge. This fridge is the nicest fridge I think we've ever had in our home. It needs a little bit of TLC. It seems a little dirty and gross, which you saw, but it seems to work just fine and it's huge. Um, and it has a bottom freezer, which is a game changer. And an ice cube maker, Justin is very happy about 24 seven ice cold water. This oven over here is just like a regular electric oven. Nothing wrong with it. We would just sell it and probably get a gas. We've been thinking about getting like a retro vintage one, which would be cool. It's been really fun working on getting this house clean because I've been able to sit down in all areas of the space and scrub and spray and sweep and while it's like a way that I'm cleaning out somebody else's kind of transition and change in life I'm also like welcoming it into my world and getting to know the space and like getting in every nook and cranny and just like really understanding this house and like seeing things up close what needs to be fixed and what looks good yeah, this house honestly is so beautiful and we're both really excited to have found a historic home that we can work on. It's been like, it's been like a proper dream to be able to work on a house like this that has like a lot of character. We've got a lot of really amazing projects in the coming months. The contractor and how the reno loan works is that all that work has to be done within six months. So new kitchen in six months, that's mind-blowing. No way we could do that just being Justin. We've got too many things going on. We'll take you along some of these reno shenanigans and kind of show you guys where we find our furniture and how we style the house and what we're working on and repainting and just like how it's all coming together. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this welcome into this new space. I can't believe we'll be filming and living and creating art and all that from here. We won't be living alone, but more on that to come when the time actually comes. For now, I'm gonna get to cleaning this kitchen, make the most of it, probably put on a podcast. Let's see, I've been enjoying the how I built this. It's been so long since I've listened to that. It's a lot of business chat. And then I don't know if you guys have ever listened to Girl Boss Radio. I really love listening to like female entrepreneurial or just entrepreneurial podcast anyways I feel like I learned so much about how to think about business how to think about strategies and things for e-commerce as well as like branding and creating a brand and putting yourself out there like marketing and things like that I just think I find that stuff really interesting 
the other podcast. I find her voice a little bit bubbly, I guess, and sometimes I can't uh, listen to her podcast like back to back to back. But she has some really good like meat in the in the content, like things that really you can think of and listen to. And hers is called orgasmic enlightenment with kim anami i listened to the one that ellen fisher interviewed her and thought that was really interesting and super helpful for like where me and justin have been with so much of all moving and everything finding time to be together has been really difficult again and so it's just so helpful to listen to podcasts that inspire me to want to create so much time to be with my husband because that's how it should be you know the other one that i think is really fun is magic lessons by um elizabeth gilbert if you haven't read what's it called magic something you should it's pretty epic and that's all i've got for right now sometimes i listen to the goop podcast the one that is gwyneth paltrow's business I think her business is pretty interesting too. Obviously my babe's one behind the veil if I'm ever in a beekeeping mood. All right, I'm gonna listen to something on Girl Boss Radio. Let's do this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright team, this is going to be on you. 